Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card I made using the stamp set Timeless Tropical and I'm going to be using the big flower, the small flower, the leaf and the sentiment May Your Birthday Be Memorable. On this set you get um, the dies these are my masks from an earlier card. Um, and I've also got the papers. I can't remember what they're called, but I will have a quick look. Coming out of this. Papers are called Tropical Oasis Designer Series Paper, and that's what you can get in the set. I've just got the papers, the dies, and the stamp. I didn't bother with all the other embellishments. So, for this, you'll need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and burnished. A piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. That's for scrap my stamping. I have a piece of the designer series paper with the flamingos and the leaves, the pinky one. And that's five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And I have a piece of white cardstock which I have embossed using this embossing folder. You can't see the pattern. It has no name on it, it's not marked. But it's got a load of leaves on it. Let's put that underneath. Can you see? No. Um, I don't have any dark paper where you could see, but that is the pattern on it which I've already done and this measures three and a half by five inches right oh I need that bit right I've already cut all stamped and cut all these out but I will do some more um, and I will show you how I made this uh, sentiment tag. Right, to get started we are going to stamp the flowers and I stamp them in crumb cake. So we need a big, one big flower And we need need two little flowers, but I'll only do one because we don't need. I don't need two. I think I've got a spare flower as it is. And then that's all with that. And then with oh, let me get me ink. The mossy meadow will stamp the leaf, leaf, which you need three of. I don't know why my inks are not very dark. This one's just been re-inked. That's better. Oh, 
Right. Um, let that dry off a minute. And we'll do the sentiments which we stamped in black. And I just stamp that in the middle, like that. Yeah, that did. Right. Now then, with these dies you have got. Oh, no, not with these dies. With the dies from this, which is in the poppy. I think it's the poppy dies. It's either the poppy dies or the... Uh, Let me just see which ones I've got. It is page 26. That you can't see here. You In these dies, you have the sentiment tags, these ones, and you also have a little border die, which is that one. So I have cut out obviously two of these one in flirty flamingo and one in white. I'm going to cut out three, but never mind. Now, this we're going to glue over the edge of that. But first we need to cut this one in half. Oops, where's it gone? And then we glue just the edge. And we glue it so we've got a bit of a border. Like that and then we'll attach that to there like that hold that in place glue the edge of that and that will tell you where to put that piece So that is about three about three sixteenths of an inch gap between them. And then we just glue one of these on the Bottom, and I've got another one here. And one on the top. That just gives it a different look. And then on the back we'll put dimensionals. Do it now and then it's done. And 
I'll put that to one side. All right, we'll bring the flowers back. Let me just take a drink. You can feel my throat uh, drying up. Right, I have got here Granny Apple Green Dark. And we just colour in. Oh no, this is too dark. Yeah, this one's too dark, so I'll just finish colouring it in. And I'll change it to. I'll colour the other one in light. Let me get the light out. Yeah, Granny Apple Green Light. That's better colour. Now because I coloured that in, you can't see the vein bits very well. So what I did, I just got my old olive dark and I went over the veins with this like that. That's all I did. And just made the leaf this one. Coloured the leaves in. Right, with the flowers, we did. No, not that colour. Daffodil Delight. We coloured in this centre bud. bud. And then we used as this old olive light. It is. And we just coloured in the stem bit for it. Right. To colour the actual flower, we use lovely lipstick light. And all I did with this is went round wherever the shading was from the stamp. I just coloured that in. And we did the same on the small one. Wherever the shading was, we coloured that in.
and then with petal pink light no yeah petal pink light we just went over the whole flower Don't need to be neat and tidy with this one. You're just filling in the whole of the flower. Right, and the same with this one. I've just changed ends with this because it's easier with the small flower. got hold of the dark um, petal pink and blended in a bit of the lovely lipstick Same with the big bit. Just go over the lovely lipstick with it. Running dry. And then with pink one. I will say mine has got blushing bride in it. I went around the edge of the lovely lipstick. To blend it in a bit more. And then I went over it again with the blushing bride. As you can see, just to take any lines out. And then, with real red, I just went round the base of the stem. Just to give it a bit of depth. And blended that in with 
little pink. And that's how I coloured the flowering. And then I cut them all out using the dies, which gives me all these. Oh, I've got an extra flower, like I said. So we can start sticking this card together. Right, I'm going to stick the embossed bit. To the paper, leaving a equal borders all the way round. And then put the paper on the card. Oops. I don't think there is a direction on the embossed paper, but I feel like these are going up the way, but then these are coming down. Let them mutton. And I'm going to stick this bit inside. I don't think I did anything. No, I didn't. Right, that has got dimensionals, so that's going to go there. And a leaf, a flower rather, is going to sit on there. This big flower is going to sit there. I'm going to have a leaf under, a leaf under there, and a leaf down there and another flower under there. So that's how it's going to be done. Right, we want dimensionals. I just need one here because that's going to rest on there and then three I think there, yeah and the rest is all getting glued need to sort that box out alright, let's put the sentiment down first. And then we glue a leaf down behind it and a bit of glue on the flower like this one I'm gonna put a bit of glue on there Like that, put that leaf down there, that leaf there, 
and then we just glue one of the little flowers under there. And I've got a flower left over and guess what I'm going to do with this. Uh, I'm going to pop that down there. And that is the card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.